Hi everyone and welcome in this uh, live webinar, one hour live trading. If you're ready, you can take your USD, ready to make a put for one minute. If you are fast enough. Ah, okay. But for those who can, take the opportunity, at least. Expiration 10.13 and the SR is 1.205 for more security. Two hundred five on IQ. Xperi thirteen. If it touch before the end of the candle, we might not do only one minute, but this one is very near, so that's why I ask you to take it. So it's done. So now expiration fourteen. If it touch right now. Quick spike. I don't know if someone succeeded to enter because it's very near. So, experience 9 is 15. If it doesn't touch within 20 seconds, we will avoid it. Okay. <coughs> so, first trade. <coughs> now, let's. We will search five minutes since some of you can take one minute trade. We'll see what happened for this one, a little after. 50 seconds to go. Thirty seconds. In the money. What's your result, guy? Who took it? Aside, Jaco. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay, no problem. It's just it was here, so but some of you sorry, will not take it, so we will not take one minute, I will change my my setup. So we'll stick to Euro USD. 
For those who want, there is a round number also. It's also a Fibonacci, so it's two good elements. It's 1.206 exactly on IQ. This will be for a put for one minute. You can take two, two minutes if you want. So, so for the one minute, now I will analyze something for more than that. So we have the previous high here, my blue line, so we don't need the Fibonacci anymore for, for that. Maybe on IQ, no it's okay. Fibonacci is a confirmation. Uh, the global strategy is um, a support and resistance confirmed with probability and confirmed also with order flow and Fibonacci. So there is different point. But we will not go through all of this today because it's in the complete course. So if you like to learn everything, the complete course is more adapted to that. So as you see on 15 minute chart, we have a good level, quite regular at 1.26.42 and if we switch on 5 minutes tac, this level is also very good sorry for that we'll avoid this one this one was a good 1 minute put but we will focus on 5 so uh, as you can see, it's also we have one rejection, two rejection here, three rejection, four, five, six, seven rejection at the same time. So the next time the price will come back to this level, I expect to have a five minute rejection. The ideal expiration will be the end of the next candle after the first touch. Because let me zoom in. For me, a rejection is when it touches the, the SR and the candle just after is rejected and finish below, for example, if it's a resistance. And if it's a support, it must, it must finish above. So this is my first rejection, second, third, this one I will count it, so fourth, five, and fifth rejection, correct. So if we take this line, we should have good probability of success. And our expiration can be 5 minutes if you have only IQ and if you have binary.com as a broker you can select the end of the next candle uh, 5 minutes. So if it's 19 and it touch right now the expiration will be 25. If it touch at 23 the expiration will be 30 since our chart is 5 minute chart. In general when there is a new high created like that a lot of people place their stop um, their stop loss at this level assuming that the price will have difficulty to reach and if it reaches it will have a little rea reaction because it will trigger the stop loss of of the traders if we have it on 15 minute chart it's a minimum if we have it on one hour it's even better so we don't have so much the one hour right now but we will take the five minutes So for you to remember in the psychology mindset, remember that all can happen in the market. You don't need to know everything to create money. Whatever the edge given by your strategy, it is just uh, a little chance to have the odds in your favor that the price will go in a specific direction than the other, nothing more. And you don't control the distribution of the winning and the loss. It means you will win some trades, you will lose some trade, but you can't avoid to lose a trade. So you will have to learn how to let it go and uh, take your trade, control your size, put a size that you are that you are comfortable to lose. And when you do that, you feel good and you can place your trade perfectly. What I mean is you have OSR here, which is my blue line at 1.20642. Your goal is not to win the trade. You have, we have analyzed the chart, it's a good probability setup. 
Our goal is to place our trade perfectly with the right expiration and to do the best that we can do. Once we have done the best that we can, we have to let go of the trade and if we lose, we lose. We will win the next. Because based on the probability, if we analyze our chart based on 70 and above probability of success, on the long run you will have 70% probability of success if your trade is placed correctly. So that's it. The outcome of the trade should be a little secondary and your your um, priority should be to focus on your skills and to place your trades the best that you can. Is it okay for everyone? Do you hear me? Because I see no one answering in the chat box, so... <laughs> okay, perfect. So, for this one we will wait this level and it seems it reversed at my round number. Let's check. Oh no, not yet. Not yet, not yet. It rejected the round number 205 actually. And now it should continue to go down for a while. Oh, there is a big candle here, maybe it will continue to go up. We'll see. So let's search another setup to try to make some more trades. So my Fibonacci no need anymore. This was, uh, well, it's correlated with Euro USD, but this was the same level, maybe a little below. And I think it will stay down for the rest of the five minutes. And the reason why, it might, it can break, eh? because there is quite good blue candle, but they, they start to decelerate here, so it might reverse in the other side. At this specific level, it's a very good level, regular. And you have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, one one break that can be count as a break, but still it rejects just after, so it's a good level. And uh, what is important, I will zoom in, is this white candle. It's the level where initiated this white candle going down and broken the low of the two previous candle. And uh, it's an engulfing, so I engulf five last candles. So this white candle is very strong going down back. So most likely when people enter their trade to sell, and some of them just want to be break even if they lose, they put their stop loss where nearly where they enter. So it is this line ex exactly. That's why, as you can see, the price decelerate and, and most likely will continue to go down for one candle. But it's a little more riskier trade, so. Since we have Euro USD and it's correlated, usually I will not take this one. So let's look another pair USD GPY, or maybe this one if we have 15 minutes. Oh, this level is quite good also. Yep. Yeah, I need break since it's an uptrend. And I think it met a Fibonacci. Yeah, it met the 38 Fibonacci, so now it, it will go up. And retouch our original SR from the signal. But since the SR touched already, nearly touch. I will delete this line. It might break now. So this line is what interests me. is a blue line for a call. Yep. So the next time it will touch this line, we can make a five minute call or the end of the next candle. So my alarm is plotted. We just have to to wait. Um, so USD GPY. Oh, it 
you will see we have a good, very good level here. The 59 Fibonacci, which is correlated with a very good support and resistance. My yellow line. So at 108.672, we can take a put for 5 minutes at this level. It's a strong level. It reversed just before, but it reversed um, quite wildly. So the time it will come back to this level, it might take time, but it can be a good level for a put. Since we have, we can see the the big white candle here, which means there is a kind of order flow at this level and people are ready to to sell, to make profit at this level. So for USDGPY... Alors... For this setup, I will prefer to take a put because we have a very good movement going down and still greater candle going down than the candles that go up even if this one was quite good but it has been stopped net here, net here and come back down. So maybe it will be a deceleration and this level, oh it can be good also if it continues to decelerate. Let me explain to you a little more. Tech. So, as you can see, we have a quite strong movement going down. And after we have a little rejection. After we have a movement less strong going down. The angle of the movement is less steep than the previous one. And we have a rejection which is greater than the previous one. So it might be a little um, reversion from the actual downtrend on the 5 minute chart. And if the price continue to go but slowly, slowly, slowly down, most likely it lose trend and it will continue to go up. But if it gain again power and go down this way, as steeply as this one, it might break this level again. So we might not take it. But if it goes slowly, I think it will be half after the webinar. You can take it if it go gently, slowly to this level, which is already a one hour time frame support based on my previous analysis. So do you get everyone the principle of um, angle of the movement? Because it's quite important to tell you if a movement will be strong enough to break a support or resistance or not. Okay, look. But it's it's recorded anyway, so you can you can watch it after. But I will repeat repeat for you also. Like, let me delete my alert. So, to repeat, this is the first angle, right? When it touch our support here. After the first angle, which is quite steep, quite powerful, we have a little rejection only. So at this stage, it's not very secure to take the second touch right here for a call. Because if it retouch quite fast after the first touch, it's dangerous and it means people want to sell more. So what we can see from here is a deceleration of the angle. The angle is um, less, less, less steep than the first. And what happened with this less steep attack of this level? A strong rejection. And now this rejection breaks the previous high here. So it might be a reversal of the trend, of the little trend on the 5 minute chart. So at this level, when the price comes back down with this big candle, big white candle here, we have a sign of trend going down now. But the price, not but, but if the price go this way and decelerate gently to the level, we might have a good sign that there is not so much a strain going down. So we can make a put and assume that the price will continue up. But if the price after this big candle continue, because there was a, a minor support right here. Let me clarify a little. 
this last high and low created a minor support and resistance. And this minor support and resistance, the price has been too, too strong to be stopped here. So it continues to go down. So it's a sign of strength when it breaks easily uh, a previous resistance and support. And now if it continues steeply going down, it might break also this one. But maybe we will have the opportunity to take with a lower expiration, like one minute, something like that. Because there is still order flow with stop loss of a certain group of traders, which make it a longer expiration is the maximum order flow that is taken like that. So this candle can be a good opportunity. Maybe we will take it. Can you take your broker USDGPY? It will be 15 minutes expiration. If this candle, 5 minutes, close above the last white one, if it close like something like that, you can enter for a call for 15 minutes. Because we can see we have a very strong very strong power going up with this big blue candle so most likely this level might be a good one and it can continue to go up so two minutes to go so you have two type of entry for these specific trades you can enter exactly at the end of this candle which is in two minutes if it stays up or if you are a little more conservative, you can wait for the price to retrace maybe around this level and when it will be there you can take a call for 15 minutes. In this setup we have um, still a good strain going up because as you can see this white candle is not stronger than the previous blue that led the price here. And except if it's stay down, if it's rejected correctly, we will not take the trade. So one minute to go. If it stay with a doji like that, with rejection up and down, it's an indecision candle and we can't enter based on that. So we will skip and we will search another setup. Yeah, it's not neat enough for me. Let's wait a little more. Oh, good. We will take this one. Prepare OGPY for a put end of the next candle. So it's like 25 minutes. When it will touch the blue line, which actually should be yellow because it's a 30 minute setup. This line is very powerful in terms of probability. So if when it touch during this candle you take on as an expiration the end of the next candle you have one rejection, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 nine, two break. So I count the ten last and on the ten last I have nine rejection and two three break. So it's around 80% probability of success for a reversal for one candle expiration. So your goal is to enter the trade when the price will be just above the yellow line. Yes, this should be your, your good entry. And I will not take below because on the previous movement of the candle when they try to reach this level, nearly all the time they broke it. So you have an opportunity to enter above my yellow line. So for this one, I will not take a lower entry. I will take exactly my yellow line, minimum. Also, what can you see on your chart? You can see a triangle forming right here.
yeah exactly right now so this candle looks like to be a breakout from the triangle a triangle is a congestion that is not really horizontal and this congestion is like an accumulation of power yeah it is 36 so the expiration will be 0 0 so I don't know depend on GMT how you are yeah 11 GMT and uh, oh 11 GMT is uh, London lunch so it's not maybe it will have an influence okay let's switch to 5 minutes I will look the probability on 5 minutes okay I will take 5 minute expiration for this one when it will touch it why? because in 25 minutes there is the lunch of London and before the lunch people close their order and uh, before they go to eat some of them and it creates a little chaos and a little order flow um, additional order flow that push the price a little higher than usual so if we can avoid to have a trade running while this happens we do it we do the same when it's German open, we do the same when it's London open the three major market uh, for us might take longer time to reach but I believe it will I believe it will because it's a breakout from the previous um, triangle and there is a good also resistance on 5 minute chart here exactly here good, continue to go up SR 86566 on your broker. So I place another line, another blue line. Good, it goes up again. Uh, tac, tac. Because as you know, support and resistance are more zone than a precise line, which make uh, our job a little more difficult for binary option. And so, as you can see, if I zoom in. Which line? Clean. Yeah. So some group of traders will place their line at the extreme of the week, like that. Some group of trader will place it at the bottom of the body of the candle, which is where is my second line, and it will create two reaction of the price one, one reaction from the group of trader who place their support and resistance this way and one reaction from the other group so you always wonder which group is the most powerful and I would say the most powerful is the one at the end of the body but sometimes 
they decide to put it otherwise and you can see the price flying high just after touching the the end of the week so it's not um, an exact science that's why I explained to you the different way so you are aware of it Well, it seems we have time and the 5 minute uh, is not telling it will go up but we will see So to tell you what it might do, if it breaks the, the low of this doji, it will continue to go down until it will be stopped by a wall and likely it will be this one. And when it will go up, the second attempt, which is not very strong if it reverses right now, will be good for us and we can take the level after, which is just above. The possibility is also more risky to take a put like what we were ready to do for USDGPY the problem to make a put right now with 15 minute expiration is in front of you you have two level of support and resistance so if you make a put right now uh, it's not um, secure that the price will continue to go down because it might be stopped by those two level and continue to go up after But since this candle is quite big, if the price reach our second level, we can take a call for five minutes. <laughs> it has been rejected already. Which is a good sign. It means it might touch our SR, our yellow line. Yes, uh, why? I have different SR because of the zero spread. So I experienced it this week. It's quite good, but you need to have a quite a consequent um, amount on your Forex account. Because they take a commission, and for example, if you place a trade of $40, they will take sometimes a $8 commission, which is already a lot, I find. So. So there is pros and cons for it. The good point of the zero spread is uh, your price will trigger exactly where you see your line. I mean, if you go in properties, you go in common, show the ask line. Oh, on, on OGPY you have a little difference. But on EURUSD, to show it, I will show you ask line. There is no difference on the major pairs, Euro USD, GBP USD, etc., etc., USD GPY, etc. So OGPY is a minor pair, that's why there is a little spread with them. But on the major, like Euro USD, you have no spread. It means your your price will be triggered exactly where is your line on your MT4. Sell OGPY 15. So be ready to take five minute put for OGPY when it will touch our SR. Not much because it's already 44, expiration 50 if you can. Yes, my XM account zero spread is nearly the same than IQ and nearly the same than Binary.com. Binary That's why I, we don't need to convert anymore. So it's a uh, easier for you members to uh, to follow the, the setup
Yeah, I think it will be too late because it's 46 already. So if it goes down for one candle and go up again, it will be too late. It will touch for the lunch, and lunch is dangerous, so we will not take it. A difference between your MT4 and my MT4? Or a difference between my MT4 and the IQ option? Because honestly, there is no difference. We can just check it if you feel like. For example, I will place 5 minutes so you can see it exactly. So my line right here on 5 minute chart is as 1.205.18. And if I place the same line on, I on IQ here, yeah? 5 minutes. Uh, Um, place it so I know. Oh yeah, sorry, there is a difference. It's a little one, but there is one. So fifty-one sixty-seven. No, fifty-one fourteen, right? No, it's the same. Two hundred five seventeen. 20518 so no no it's the same IQ and MT4 on zero spread account with XM it's the same same SR mm -hmm. that's what I said yeah so yeah I think it will be too late so never mind this one and after it's not a good time to take trade right now This is a quite good example when a support transforms into resistance. As you can see, the price made a quite good movement going up, so it's a clear break. And since this white candle took the impulse nearly at our resistance, it should act as a support when it will retouch it. Of course, when it's not the launch of London or any news event, which will be the case nearly. We see, take one hour. Yeah, our SR should be a little below. Yeah, so this is our support and resistance. Good one. And now the price goes significantly up. So if we are not in Lon in London lunch, we can take a call when it will come back. Yeah, it's 10 minutes before the lunch. I will I will just list you the SR if you want to note them so we can take the trade but after after the lunch is gone. Let's look at the news. 12.30 Which one? Come back. Yeah, it reject again. But this white can literally touch once, so the order floor has been taken quite widely, so I will not take it. Yeah, we have a good level on USD CAD, but it's the same. It's 15 minute trade, so it will not take it. Ah, NZD USD. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this will form a doji, so same. Same, same, same. No, I won't advise anyone to take a trade right now. 
I prefer to stop because after it's a, it's the lunch of London. So, or if you want to take it, it's still a strong level, but you take it with lower amount. It means your regular size. If you trade with four percent, you will place one percent only. So if you lose, it's not dramatic. So if you want to take it, we take it with lower amount. I can do it also. NZDUSD, 5 minutes. For me, to make it simple, we can trade some range. Oh, it's near. There is a round number just before. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't take it because I saw the round number 0.728 just below. And this round number might be a better, a better support to enter the trade. As you can see, it rejects nearly every time at this level. So when it will touch again, we have more probability of success from the recent movement of the candle, which is very important. Why the recent movement of the candle is important? Because it represents the traders that trade right now with you. Not the one who traded uh, two months ago. And the people that are trading with you right now are the people who will take decision and if you continue to go in the in the move of their decision, you will have more probability of success. So, uh, for me, the most powerful are horizontal support and resistance. Why? Because when you buy something, you buy something at a specific price. And the specific price is always an horizontal line. Okay, well done. Well done, well done. I hope it stays. Because we have very big candle going down. A little deceleration here, but not so much so much big deceleration but it might win since it's uh, higher time frame support and resistance one hour actually <coughs> yeah it might win for a little order flow there because a lot of traders might think okay this level has been broken so now they want to buy and when they will buy the price will go up the price will go up naturally and we have an healthy rejection right now. Did you take exactly five minutes or the end of the next candle wipe? End of the next candle, so five minutes more. Six minutes actually. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Our, our round number is not very far away, actually. So it might reject from there, based on the one hour chart. Yeah, the round number is a very, very good level for one minute also. We have one, two, three, four. Five, six, six rejection, no, six, three. No, maybe sixty-five percent, not so much good. Let's see. Oh, and it will end exactly at the, at the lunch of London, which is not very good. Yeah, it's better to avoid now, really. I wish you luck. I wish before they go to lunch, the London people say, okay, I want to buy, so the price will go up. Okay, good. If you did slow amount, if you feel comfortable, even if you lose it, this is the goal, actually. On my own, I trade the news, I mean, with my SR, but I do with lower amount, and I don't feel pressure if I lose the money. And when the conditions are good, I place my full size amount. 
And so far it is the safest way to to be consistent week after week, month after month. And only one trade by setup, whatever happened. Do your best to place only one trade. Still some minutes to go. Yeah, no. We better avoid. I hope you win. You win this, but now it's too close to lunch of London. Okay, Leo. See you. So it will play now. No problem, it's nearly the end. I just wait to see what will be the outcome of the trade of WIBE. The recorded webinar are um, in my YouTube channel. Good. Good rejection. And um, I will upload those webinar also. I think the live trading will be uh, open to everyone and the teaching I will select only the topics that are not in my complete course and um, the teaching webinar will be open only to the people who are in the special guidance like for this one same but this one I will make it free because it's live trading so Welcome. And on my YouTube channel you can also find already some some live trading webinar where I explain different strategy like fencing, like uh, different strategy to help you to improve your, your trading. Hmm. One minute to go. This minute will be decisive. I hope your entry was good with binary.com Should be in the money, 15 seconds In the money Perfect Perfect, so few trades but at least only in the money for today <laughs> So cool, no problem. So I will wish you everyone a good day or a good evening and um, tomorrow we make the teaching webinar and I will select uh, among the topics that you mentioned. I think it will be on binary option first and maybe I will alternate. One month it will be binary, one month it will be forex. And uh, I also encourage you to to work on the forex side and to learn a little about it because I think it will be very good in the next months also with the signal and and uh, easier sometimes than binary option so see you have a nice day bye
So today we made two in the money. In my Facebook group, you can find other projects. For example, I provide 15 signals per day for forex and binary option. The fee is $5 per month. Additional to that, I give you a professional method to make profit on the long run with the Millionaire's Project. This is for free. The second project is a special guidance channel on Telegram. This service will give you 10 additional signals per day. It will also alert you whenever a signal is near to take. It will also alert you whenever there is a dangerous event in the market, like an impacting news or a session opening. My goal is to give you the info in real time to make you take a safer trade as possible. And this service can also help you in every signals that you might take from every signal providers out there, if they use a technical strategy, of course. Also, in the package of this guidance channel, and aiming to teach you how to trade on your own, on the long run, you will have access to two webinars per month in live or recorded, lifetime access. And the topic that I will teach will be according to the wish of the subscribers. You can access to the group by clicking on this link, or you can find it also in the description of the video. We are already at the end of the video. Please like this video if you liked it, and comment below if you have any question. Feel free also to share it on your Facebook, Twitter or Google+. I wish you success with us. Have a nice day.